Hey guys, what's up? Bees from Beast Toys are coming at you this evening. I'm going to do an opening of a number 11 in the Clone Wars Galaxy Collection Wave line, however you want to say it, uh, Darth Maul with uh, Android legs. So he is, this is the one you see in Season 7, obviously. Um, I think it's a pretty popular figure. Um, you can't, like, Amazon has never come down on the price except when you pre ordered way back when. I just went ahead and bought him on Pulse to be on the safe side. Sometimes you feel like you get this feeling that some of the figures aren't going to be around and you're not going to end up getting them at retail. So um, they're going to get, you're going to have to get them higher, which is what I try to avoid. Some figures, which I did a better job of at least recently, is Grand Inquisitor, which I'll do a video later. Grief Cogger Magistrate, definitely do a video later, but uh, wait until a sale came up and get those, and that's where I was at. These were not on the Pulse sale, but I went ahead and bought those with my order, so. I'm just looking at them thinking, eh, if I don't get them before too long, I may just miss, I, I'm afraid I'll miss out and have to pay 40 bucks instead of 25 So, you know, I think, you know, it, it's hard to th use that reasoning too because you just never know. You may run across one later on down the road or something and be like, ah, I wasted my money. I shouldn't have bought it then. You know, you just, you never know. So I just went ahead and bit the bullet though because this is a cool figure. And I've seen a lot of people say and review that this is a really good figure. So, anyway, there's a quick look at the artwork once again. I'll show that real quick. And read the bio. It says, A deadly agile Sith Lord Darth Maul was a formidable warrior and scheming mastermind. He wielded an intimidating double-bladed lightsaber and fought with a menacing ferocity. So, anyway, number 11 in the line. He's cool. Glad to see him. Uh, I think this one looks good. We now have three Dark Mons. Four. I guess technically you could say we have four if you count the first version that came out in the blue line. Or was it orange line? I can't remember. He's orange. I think he's orange line. And then you get him again. Oh. I mean, that's if you count archive, you get him in archive. Then you got him in uh, the comic box. And then we got him here. And I still feel like, I almost still feel like I'm missing one. I think there's another Darth Maul that has been released. Why I can't think of it is beyond me. But, uh, oh, maybe, I don't know. Maybe it's because partially I'm thinking because I've got a Disney Select Darth Maul which was rather cool and he's a little bit bigger he's more of a he's like he's a seven inch figure so anyway so what do we got here let's check him out so you basically get his head doesn't really look anything different as far as the, the other sculpts um i think his first sculpts a little bit the red is a little bit lighter um, his head may be a little thicker due to the helmet, but this looks like the same head. He pretty much <laughs> night night brother warrior head and all that. So um, we get that. Uh, this is a good, like I said, this is a good looking figure. I'm not surprised. It's another reason why I really thought I better jump on this now and get this. Um, just. I think the Mando line, you're going to get plenty. You're going to be able to get a hold of plenty of any of them for the most part, unless they're an exclusive. Bending is checking his knees out, bending his android legs. Um, but I think you're, where you're going to struggle with main, even mainline releases a little bit is Clone War stuff. So and apparently, I just saw on the act face today, I believe it was, that, look at that thing, that's long. Put that together, that's a big double bladed. They give you a lot of lot of hilt on both ends here so anyway um i just feel like you know with all the talk of the clone war stuff and that's what i was gonna say yak face today i think i'm just gonna say today came out and showed a uh, post for some updated black series uh code names and there were six, and they were colored red. And the guy, it was in a, oh, it was a YouTube video, and they posted what he had posted, showed the picture of it anyway. And any, at any rate, getting ahead of myself, trying to talk too much here, too fast. Um, that there are six figures, and they expect 
for me mainline two to be target but the color he said the reason the guy in the video just said my assumption is based off his color coding which he usually does is that these will be black series uh clone wars figures and with the, he you know with everyone saying oh the 20th clone wars which um, mistake me if i'm wrong but i thought 2022 was our 20th clone wars um if you go with the actual movie. Now, I think, yes, this year the cartoon did come out in twenty or 2003, but I figure if you go based off the movie, we're talking about 22, 2022. So, kind of like Revenge of the Sith will be 2025. So, I don't expect to see anything Revenge of the Sith related probably until that time because they're just going to pump out crap and stuff that you've already got. So, but anyway, here he is. Has the jacket or leather uh not jacket but leather vest over his you know uh bare chest you got shoulder guards and uh you know brown just a brown legging or leg whatever you want to call it pant and then brown sleeves so pretty cool nonetheless like i said this is a good looking figure um I don't know for, per se if it's in my top whatever 10 or whatever so far this year or last year or whatever but it is a nice figure i'm glad i finally broke down and got it but uh yeah so that's pretty much it there he is darth maul with android legs from the clone wars so this is like i said he is the one that would be in season seven so there he is good looking figure good chance to get it at retail um you know sometimes i always say hey is it worth it he's about retailish yeah i'd pay retail i guess which i did obviously but uh don't wait for a sale i'd say don't sleep on this one you're not going to probably get it on sale you better get this one at regular price but some other stuff i'll show you in the near future yeah probably wait for a sale or go on and jump on that hasbro pulse sale like i said i got inquisitor um been wanting to get him got him for 17 bucks Got me a Grief Cargo Magistrate for 17 which I had ordered on Target, and some reason they canceled it. I got it for like 16 on Target, but I don't remember what happened with that. It was a weird deal. They just canceled it out of the blue, you know, go figure. And it's not even exclusive. I think they just don't want to sell those for that price at the time. That was several months ago. I mean, like five months ago. Anyway, but uh, all right. So anyway, here he is. Go out and get him if you can. Try not to pay, overpay, but go get him at retail if you can when he when he when available. And he's still available on Pulse right now. So if you are a Pulse Premium, you get free shipping, so it's worth it. Anyway, thanks for watching, guys. Hit that like, subscribe button. You want to check out more of my videos. And as always, be some beast toys. We'll see you.